Welcome back to another episode in the dinosaur mine. <laughs> oh man, I love this thing. So, as I mentioned last episode, I built a little bit of an arch and I think it looks really cool. Kind of evil and modern looking. And yep, I put the paintings up there again. I hid a redstone lamp behind and a redstone block above uh, to power it. And I really do like it. I kind of like the look of it and I don't know what's gonna come here in this direction, but we'll figure something out. But this year is finally gonna be the smeltery. I laid out the rough shape of the building. I have a few ideas. I tried out a little, a little, a few things. Um, so I guess I want to go with volcanic brick and the old brick probably. So I tried out the chisel texture. This is um, hardened clay. It looks pretty good, I think. Uh, pretty decent. This is dirt, which also looks kind of cool with this texture actually. It provides a little bit more uh, texture, makes it look a little older. But uh, overall, I think the cheapest and best way to go is just a normal brick. The regular brick made from um, cooked up clay, walls of clay, and I think I'm gonna go with that. Just because, first of all, it is easier for the game to render because there's no chiseling and no carpenter's blocks involved. And uh, second of all, it is a little more high resolution because of the faithful texture pack. As you can see, this is a 32 by 32 texture. This is only a 16 by 16 texture because the chisel is not involved in the faithful uh, 32 by 32 texture pack. So I decided to go with uh, the standard brick one all the way around and I'm gonna use the the volcanic brick, I think, for the pillars, and I'm gonna work on that. Uh, I already set up the smeltery itself, at least that's what I hope. I haven't tried it out yet. I set everything up. Um, we got an ele item elevator for the coal, which gets distributed behind here. And this one, evenly. This is the same, um, the same technique and the same redstone I used for the analyzer. So if you wanna know how that works, you should go back to watch Probably within my first 10 episodes of the Dinosaur Mine, where I explained how it works. I think I also have a tutorial on this kind of stuff. I think it's called an intelligent multi-furnace system. If you, if you look that up, you'll probably find uh, one of my tutorials where I explain it. It's been ages ago, probably over a year ago. But I haven't tried it yet, so let's try this out. Let's put a stack of coal in there and see if it distributes evenly and also... Let's put eight stacks of clay in there and we'll see if it works. It might not be 100% uh, evenly distributed, but I hope it will work out. I had to fiddle around quite a bit with it, so let's see. Doesn't seem like the coal gets in there. Three, 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 four, okay. Huh. Looks pretty even, this one got a little less. But it's almost even, not 100% unfortunately. Uh, probably something to do with the lag and uh, the mods that I'm using here. Um, what I don't know is where all my coal... Oh! Are you not working, sir? Wait, 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 wait. Something is... Where did all my coal go? Did it go up already? Looks like it went up. Hmm. Mysteriously vanishing coal, I see. Oh, it's all stuck in this dropper. Why is that? Hmm. That's not good. How could I fix this? I need to work on this item elevator a bit. Let's improvise for now. I'm gonna fix this off camera. Let's improvise for now and put it in this hopper here. It should distribute it evenly. Or not? What's going on here, guys? Are you telling me that this blocker is blocked by something? Hmm, let's see if we find a signal that's responsible for that. So this hopper obviously can't 
distribute the items for some reason. I don't know why it is powered, but for some reason it seems to be powered. Let's take it out. And... Doesn't look like there's any redstone involved. That is strange. Let's try this again. Nope, it definitely is powered for some reason. Let's go down here. Uh, this is not powered. There's nothing that could power this hopper. Very weird. Oh, I see. This stone here. I don't know why this stone is here. Do I need it? I don't think I need it. But this red stone was pointing into this block here. And that's why it got blocked. Okay, let's put it in here. And now things should work. Yep, looks good. Everything should be burning now. Yep, all furnaces working. Clay still being distributed. But in general, this smelting system should work fine. Alright, so now that this is established, I'm gonna fix the item elevator off camera. And I think I'm gonna build here a little bit uh, for you guys today so we can get the smeltery going. I want to thank you guys once again for your comments. You told me, you all told me that Gallimimus are indeed omnivores and that they are able to eat my plants and this is what our friend here did. As you can see, he ate all the leaves around the water pool. Um, do I have... I don't have much on me. I think I was branch mining again and clay mining in between episodes. So that's probably why I got rid of all the stuff I had. Didn't eat the, the leaves on this side quite yet and I hope that stays this way until I can replace them with carpenter's blocks. I don't think they can eat it when they are carpenter's blocks. I'm not entirely sure but I'm gonna try that out later. Our little friend hasn't turned up again and uh, he's indeed gone. He was smaller than the hitbox uh, than the half a block so he could escape right when he was small. And I don't know if I will ever see him again, if I'm honest. Maybe he ran off into unloaded chunks where he doesn't get hungry and he stays there until one day, mysteriously, I will stumble upon him when I go exploring or something. I will probably never find out because this guy, are you getting hungry? Oh no, you ate all the leaves. You don't get hungry for a while because you ate all my leaves. Oh man. So I don't even have a... Uh, a scale uh, where I could measure when the other guy should get hungry in theory. But as I said, he's probably out in unloaded uh, chunks. So I don't know which direction he went. Not not a slightest clue. He could be anywhere. Anyways, I'm not gonna bother with him. Um, I think I'm gonna try and analyze a few more biofossils and see if we can get some Galamimus DNA. But if not... You guys know what's, what's up. We have to call the ranger and we have probably to put this guy down. Uh, let's see if I put this in here. The Gallimimus DNA should turn up in this slot here. Alright, let's see. I should have some biofossils left. Yeah, quite a few. Let's put two stacks in and uh, maybe we're getting lucky. We'll see. We'll find out soon enough. Get to work! I always need to watch them because I never know that something breaks the thing. I don't think I have used them since we updated to 1.7. Uh, and quite a little bit of mechanics change with those guys. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean it usually takes a while but not that, that long, does it? Things might have changed around here. Is the clock running? Are you running? Yeah, you are running. Are you running too? 24, 26. Okay, things changed. Let's take a look at it again. One of them is running. That's not right. Oh, that they, they ran. Oh, is the timing not right again? Oh, what's going on here? No, no, now they all run. That's good. Let's watch this for a second. It should drain him. It doesn't drain him for some reason. It m it might have changed how the hoppers interact with the analyzers. I read something about that in the change logs of the latest update. So I'm not entirely sure. Allosaurus? Oh no, we had that before. Um, 
So I'm not entirely sure if this thing needs to be reconfigured. As you can see, it still works, but it um, skips a step, so it takes double the time it would normally take. And that's of course not what I wanted to happen. So I will have to review this thing too sooner or later. Not sure when I'm gonna do it. But yeah guys, I think I'm gonna put some work into the smeltery and I will bring you guys the updates as I proceed working on it. Time for a progress report guys, look at this. Huh? Doesn't bricks look nice? I wonder, I think bricks is one of these blocks that gets heavily underused in Minecraft. I mean, they have been around for a long time, for a really long time, and almost no one uses them for builds. And uh, I think I want to use them a little more, kind of making sort of industrial district back here. Of course, they are pretty hard to come by since clay is, an, uh, is a finite resource. And uh, I have a giant swamp there, but sooner or later I will run out. I had to go again and get some more. But yeah, this is gonna be the rough shape of the building. I was experimenting around with a few things here. Um, th those are volcanic brick half slabs, and this is some carpenter's fence. I want to kind of reproduce the, some pipes to make it look even more industrial. I'm having a hard time, but I don't really like these guys. Let me actually see, see what other types there were. Already forgot. Nope, that's not helping. What's this one? Nope, not really. What are you? You are one big guy, huh? Hmm. Not that bad. Let's try something else here. Oh, that's it? Just these few? Okay. Let's try the big guy again. How does that look? Nah. I think I prefer the half slab so far. Might have something to do that this is not the volcanic bricks, but only volcanic rocks. Hmm, let's try some bricks, but I don't think it will change much. I wonder... Sometimes I wish I had some more blocks. Oh, that's the, that's the rocks again, dang it. I don't know what co other color I could use. And that brings me to my next problem already. Uh, because my next problem is... What the hell I'm gonna do with the roof? I mean, I can imagine a good shape for the roof, but I have no idea what block I should use to build it. I can't use brick. Brick would just look weird. Just all brick would be would be not nice. And I can't use volcanic brick because it would be too dark, I think. And it would be too... Did I destroy it? Of course I did. Crap. Can't really use volcanic brick, I think that would be just too dark and also too resource intensive. Uh, stone brick is one of the obvious options, I'm not sure if it would look good with stone brick though. But this, once again, probably are all my options. I couldn't think of any other, of any other block to use for the roof. What else is there? I don't, I can't use any wood that wouldn't fit. Hmm... Maybe I can't really use clay since I want to use stairs for it, you know. And I don't think there would be a good clay color to use. So I'll probably go with stone, maybe cobblestone. Maybe cobblestone would fit the style, huh? We have stone brick everywhere, so maybe some cobblestone for a change would be nice. And I already used the cobblestone kind of as the, the basement here around these areas, and I think it fits in quite well. So maybe a cobblestone roof could look nice. Anyways guys, I think that's all I could show you for now. I am gonna sleep, and then I'm gonna put some more work into this building. But I really like the style. Maybe I will build some more houses. Uh, if I find a use for them, I don't want to build random houses that I don't have any, any use. But maybe kind of an industrial district would be kind of neat. You know what we should do? We should quickly check if we got any new DNA from all the fossils I analyzed. I haven't checked yet. Well, I, I have checked right in the beginning and I got some plant fossils from it, which is good. And let's see, sometimes there's bad stuff luring in my lab. Seems clean today. Leg, here we go. Um, ooh, da oh, look who is saved. Our Gallimimus. All right, I guess he gets to live after all. We have new DNA. Two, wait, we had only two stacks of the uh, biofossil and we got two 
Calamimus DNA from that, that's pretty impressive. I wonder what else we got. Maybe you guys can check uh, my screen earlier with this screen. Because I don't remember all the numbers that were in here. But that's very nice, so... Uh, fate has saved our friend. <laughs> so, I'm gonna assume that uh, Gallimimus color is also influenced by the biome they hatch in. So what I'm probably gonna do is, if I get these eggs ready, I'm gonna let them hatch somewhere else, probably in a forest back there. And uh, I, I hope I remember to look it up, what color they have, depending on where they hatch, so I can control it a bit and we can get a nice variety in our population. But now I'm gonna go to bed and in the morning I'm gonna continue working on the smeltery. Good night, everyone! So guys, I've done some more work, let's take a look at it. Um, it's taking shape, slowly but surely taking shape. I'm not sure when I did my last update, but I'm sure I... wait. Oh yeah, we talked about the roof in the last update clip, ah ha ha ha, yeah that's right. So I put in some black stained glass, I think it fits in here quite well. Looks good, I still gotta do some purifying of the, the smeltery, because you can see it quite well from out here. I want it to be uh, visible. But I want to make it look at least a little bit decent. But yeah, I went with a cobblestone roof, combined with some stone slabs for now. And this is how she looks from the front. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how much I like it. It's Where's my fish? I thought I had some fish. No, it's still in the oven. Dang it. Uh, it's the best I could do for now. I'll have to tinker a bit with it still. It, I don't know if I like this window at all, this diagonal thing. I'm, I don't think it fits in here. I might completely get rid of it. Maybe get some other sort of pattern in there. Maybe still try to go with a pipe idea. I still haven't gotten around to getting some nice looking pipes going. So far I've been only doing uh, volcanic brick and brick and some stone on the roof. But let me show you what other plans I have for, for the interior. So, of course, I'm gonna put a floor in here sooner or later. And I actually... Huh... I wanna put another uh, a lava smelting device over here, because this is, this is good for sm smelting with coal and blaze rods and anything like that. But not, not very good for lava smelting, so I wanna build a smaller lava smelter over here. Just a very simple setup, I'm not quite sure what kind of setup yet. But just a simple one. And just for show, I want to put um, a big lava tank in here. I think it could be cool, right? That's why I built this part of the building. Just to have this giant tank of lava storage for supposedly smelting. But of course, only, only for looks. And that's what I'm gonna build now. Let's see how high do I wanna go. Uh... I'm gonna use the lava that I have left from the lava pool, but I don't think there will be enough to fill all the tank. Although, thinking about it, I don't have to fill the full tank, do I? I don't think it looks any different if I put only the nine source blocks on top and let it drip down. I think it looks exactly the same. Uh, it still moves all down when I put source blocks in there, so why not just save on a few blocks? That could be nice. But yeah, how high do I want to have it? That's... 3 by 3, I think I'm gonna make it 3 by 3 by 4. Nope, I'm out of glass. Crap! Alright, let me grab some fish, smelt up some more glass and dye it. Ah, that looks weird though, doesn't it? We might need some more structure in this, I'm not sure yet. The connected textures kind of ruin it in this case. I might put some pillars in there. Not sure. Anyways. I'm gonna grab some stuff and I'll be right back. Here I am, suspecting nothing bad, and then this! How did he get out? There's no way, is there? I mean, he stayed in there for so long, don't you dare running into the cactuses. Let's get him. How? Man, this guy is a Houdini. Come on, up, 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 stay. And now, follow me, please. Alright, let's get him back in there. I don't know, I have no idea how he got out of there. Again. I wish I could install some sort of uh, camera, surveillance cameras in his enclosure, so I can see when he breaks loose, how he does it. <laughs> that would be a nice feature, wouldn't it? 
Okay, you go back to free move and I'll keep an eye on you again. Don't do that again, okay? Or at least, if you do it again, please show me how you do it, okay? Yeah, I hope you, hope you listen to me, guy. Man, I, I fed him earlier too, so he wasn't really hungry. No idea how he got out of there. Okay, so I wasn't really expecting to record right now, but uh, since I am already, uh, let me show you what I did. Oop, zombie, somewhere, probably under the road. I installed our lovely little lava tank. I'm kind of out of stone again, so I might have to check some chests if I have some left, or I have to go branch mining again. I'm probably gonna do a mixture out of cobble and stone brick for the floor, because since this is an industrial building that gets used a lot, I think that would be kind of fitting. Lava tank! <laughs> I, I tried to use some black glass for the pillars on the side, just to make it look a little bit more structured, but uh, still don't obstruct a view on the lava too much. Um, not entirely sure yet if I want to keep it this way, and I'm pretty sure I want to have some lava piping going on on top of here, it would be kind of cool. Just for visual wheels, of course, and I still need more glass for the windows here too. Let's see, how would that look from, from the outside? Yeah, cactus, I know you're here. Not centered, of course not centered, why didn't I think of that? It's alright though, I think I can live with that. Looks not too bad. And once we have another layer of glass before it, I don't know, it shouldn't be too much of a focus, but uh, I want it to be visible when you walk by here. And I think for that it's alright. Looks not too bad. Okay, guys, uh, <laughs> I guess I got interrupted by our little uh, Gallimimus. I'm gonna do some more work and then I'm gonna show you probably the final clip for today. I don't have much time left. I'm not sure if we can get it completely done today, but uh, I try my best. As I said, I'm running out of time for today. I did a little bit more work. I installed the floor and I don't think I showed you the facade yet here. And I started working on my little lava pipe going into this wall. I'm probably going to close this up with a nice wall. So it looks like the lava is getting pumped into the smelting system. I think it's pretty kind of cool. Um, but yeah. That's about it. One more thing I wanted to show you guys, I think, uh, I didn't know before. So you see the clouds there and you don't see the clouds there. And this is why glass totally blocks all the effects on the shader. You can see even better at night time, which is interesting. So the shaders aren't as far evolved as they can uh, work together with this. I don't, I don't know if it's just the stained glass or the glass in general, but they definitely do not work with that yet. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I will see you again next time. Until then, have a nice day. And seriously, guys, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft. <laughs>